Hey guys, welcome back to another episode here on the Be Distinct channel. In today's video, we are going to be doing a couple things to the G35, prepping it, because if you guys don't know, for some reason, I've said it a couple videos now, but literally this Thursday, I fly out to Los Angeles and we're taking the G35 too. We're gonna be there from June 2nd to June 5th with the supercharged G35 mobbing around LA, but specifically we're gonna be there at Fuel Fest under the Fitment Industries booth, which I'm super honored, it's freaking sick. So I'm gonna be there with the supercharged G35. It's gonna have new tail lights, which I haven't showed you guys, but I will have to show you guys. We're gonna be doing an install down over there in SoCal. But today we gotta install the front new splitter because my front new splitter broke. We gotta fix our third brake light, it's red lens. I would rather prefer a clear lens because our tail lights are gonna be clear lens, a little Hit, hit. We gotta do a little small stuff. Let's get on with today's video. So first step is first, we gotta go ahead and take out the car so we can put the car in the middle, jack it up, and remove the front splitter. The front splitter broke right there. You guys can see it's all shredded up. If you haven't already, just smash the like button. It's free, it's free, brother. Also, another thing I was debating for is getting a K&N air filter cleaner and actually cleaning that because that's dirty and I'd prefer having it clean for the show. That thing look black, like what the hell? That thing look dirty as hell. I'm gonna show you guys the cold startup because I have to every time I got to show you guys the cold startup. So I'm gonna show you. Man, that thing is loud. Y'all already know the first step, jack up the car. All right guys, so with my front splitter, you guys know my car is bagged, but for some reason I get lazy and I don't bag it up, so my thing is scraped to the max, right? It's not, look, look, it's this little, which I also scraped off the screw, so I'm not even, hopefully I can get a, a new bolt in there, a new nut. So now the only thing that holding the splitter is these 13 millimeter hex bolts right here. All right guys, so I need to take off the whole entire bumper but I already jacked up the car and I do not want to jack it back down. You know what I'm saying? So we're just going to go ahead and, and figure this thing out. Me and you. I always torque down my wheels. 80 foot pounds of torque. So they should not be that hard. I hate when I take it to wheel shops and everything. And they freaking torque it the hell down. Like, bro, relax. All right, guys, last bolt. And it is out. <laughs> Whoa. All right, guys, we're gonna grab my old splitter and test fit it on his Miata. Bruh! Yo, how this big is, like, is that? Damn, your car is big. <laughs> Three, <Why>? two, six? <laughs> Yo, look, why does that look good? All right, guys, so we took off the entire bumper and there's a bunch of like rock collections going on right here. Look. What the hell was that mate? We're also gonna go ahead and take this time to freaking what the this f rock was also my bumper. What the get the Oh, shit. oh, I was in the car. Was it? It's kind of like lopsided, so we gotta make sure this is straight. We went ahead and added one of our ultra strength aluminum zip ties right there. I don't know if you guys can see it right there. To try and fix my intercooler from being straight. We could just add tabs on there, but you know. We're on the fly. How straight is it, brother? Quit playing with me. If I put it this way, it's one. One degree. Oh. Bro, we're good. All right, guys. So now we're going to go ahead and hit a pause on the splitter. And we're going to go ahead and clean our filter really quick. We bought uh, the K&N filter cleaner. It comes with the oil and the cleaner. So it says let it soak for 10 minutes. Literally says soak it. So we're going to go ahead and soak it. Hey, this is getting cleaner already. We're gonna go grab our new splitter. Anybody there? Nobody there. <laughs> For the, all my fragrance people, bro, tell me. This is my mini collection right here. But my new addition right here, Aqua di Giorgio Armani El de Parfum. This thing's beautiful. We're gonna grab our splitter, turn off the lights. Jesus, that just sounds way better. 
What's good? Right, We're right. back again at the channel, man. We got the new splitter. Bro, that's what I was trying to it's get like you to come with loud. me, bro. Like, literally, I was just telling you, like, let's just go for a drive, bro. And you're like, nah, nah. So I haven't I mean, heard he, it. He helped me out the whole time to, like, like, do it. And I'm over here enjoying it without him, bro. I know, we gotta, we yeah. gotta get a sound clip of the... No, dude, it's insane. It's nice. You guys didn't see that part. We're opening this for the first time ever. Brand new unreleased front splitter. This is specifically for the Karuma Z bumper. If you have like the OEM bumper, I think Easy Splitters have their uh, their own different splitters for all different kind of bumpers. But also shout out to Easy Splitters for sending me this. Huge shout out to them. Right on time too. So gonna open it. Boom! They supplied brand new hardware and splitter, splitter rods. rods because the ones that I currently had on, they were destroyed. You guys seen them in the previous clips. The screws and the bolts were absolutely demolished. So we got brand new hardware. So now we have this low pressure hose. 10 minutes have passed. We're just gonna go ahead and rinse this off. Oh. Ooh. 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 Man, why is the cleaning a brand new filter? Dude, that's not even, that's so dirty. That used to be red instead of black. That uh, marks the territory of Beauty Stink House. All right guys, so we just put our old splitter on top of the new splitter, and we're just gonna mark our holes where they were at, mount it right back up, freaking solid with gold. Oh, that was like butter. Right. What, that's it? Bro, what? We're uh, installing the bumper. Oh shit. Oh yes. yes. Wait, I need washer. Ah yes. How there you go. Here? That's tight, there baby. You. Look at how fresh this is right here, bro. Fresh splitter. I love it. Mother heifer blew my bumper. <laughs> Ready? The oil is the red part, so right, when guys. it comes up. So we're just forward. putting the oil. This is what makes it look pink. Oh, so it looks really? brand new. Yeah, look how like, red it is. That's cool. See like the residue of the oil is kind of red. That's fire. Okay, that's good. Perfect. Well All right, guys, and this is what the final product looks like right here. This is the new Infinity G35. Check it out how low it is. This thing's beautiful. And it's got a brand new splitter. I mean, check it out. Brand new, guys. Brand freaking new. Brand new filter. I mean, bro, what more can you ask for? This thing's gorgeous. And the intercooler, straight as can be. Hell yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So this is gonna go ahead and conclude this video. The G35 will sit now. We're waiting for the truck to come here for shipment. It's gonna come pick up the G35 and transport it to Los Angeles. I should be flying there with my girlfriend on Thursday, should be there. So we'll be there June 2nd through June 5th. It'll be an awesome event. And stay tuned for next episode. We're gonna have a downpipe install on the 2020 Toyota Supra. So with that being said, I'll catch you guys next video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and comment down what you guys think. Catch you guys next video. Peace.